This was a full-on habitat desert when we first started working here. This was nothing but bare sand. They were still mining sand right here. So we'd come along here, you'd never find fish along this shoreline. It was, it was literally a habitat desert. Put the habitat in, we started the stocking program, started the feeding program, and an unintentional bonus was as we put the cedar trees out, and there's literally probably a couple hundred cedar trees throughout here, they started to decompose, a little bit of productivity in the system, we get aquatic vegetation coming back, both the coontail, Kara, and the pondweed. So Kara, actually a species of algae, call it muskgrass, kind of crunchy, perfect stuff. Doesn't get that out of control, great habitat for fish. Um, we're starting to see that really show up in this lake as we improve the management. And then pondweed, I wish I could put this in every lake I manage. Um, really well behaved, rarely gets out of control, at least what we've seen, and provides just perfect habitat, rearing habitat for small fish, baby fish. And I think the having the cedar trees in here definitely kind of slows down your wave action and on a, a sandy slope like this, it gives these the cara and the pondweed and everything a chance to get in and establish because otherwise there's just that wind and wave and really mobile sediment. So it obviously creates a staging area for the fish to hang out on, but it also also gives these plants a little break to get going. Yeah, you nailed it. When we first put the trees in, the weeds showed up right around the trees and they've since spread out um, pretty much all summer long to fill in in between the trees. So.